Flying free, flying high, flashing wings across the sky. Jordy Racer, Jordy Racer, on the road, in the street, hear the sound of pounding feet. Jordy Racer, Jordy Racer, fly. Eight. Have you gone daft, man? On Monday, Spuggy and Janie went to Seton Delaval Hall again. They wanted to be sure they were right about the messages. But would the Jesmond paintings be there? Spuggy and Janie slipped into the cellars. Yes! In the darkest part of all, they found a bag. And in the bag were the paintings. Janie took a flash photograph of them. Then she and Spuggy went outside and hid. Would anybody come? Spuggy hoped it wouldn't be his dad. But it wasn't. It was Victor. When he came out of the cellars with the bag, Janie took a photograph of him as well. Well, said Janie, this shows we were right about the messages. You must speak to your dad now, Spuggy. Spuggy found Dad on the allotment. He seemed very happy. Spuggy wasn't. I saw you at the lighthouse the other day, Dad. Dad looked at him. And I know what you were doing there, said Spuggy. How do you mean? said Dad. I was picking up some junk for Baz. It wasn't junk, cried Spuggy. You know it wasn't. He was angry and upset. It was the stuff stolen at Gosforth. The gold pendant. Dad stared at Spuggy. Have you gone daft, man? He said. You're working for crooks, Dad. Spuggy showed Dad the photographs he and Janie had taken at Seton Delaval Hall. He told him about the messages. Burglars steal the stuff and hide it. Then they send a message by pigeon to Baz, telling him where it is. That pendant was hid at St Mary's, and you picked it up for Baz. And you thought I knew? asked Dad. It was his turn to be upset now. I needed a job. I wanted to work. I, I drove Baz's truck. But I'm no crook man. <laughs> Baz was in his office with Victor when Dad came in. Dad threw the photographs on the desk in front of them. Seems I'm mixed up with a lot of crooks, he said. Baz didn't panic. He looked at the photographs and then at Dad. Mixed up is right, he smiled. You've given us a nice bit of cash for my holiday. Dad didn't understand. Baz held up a piece of paper in front of Dad. We're gonna help ourselves to the takings at the recreation centre, he said. Thanks to this bonny little map you drew for us. I never knew that's what you wanted it for, shouted Dad. Baz shook his head. Nobody's going to understand that, are they, Ray? The best thing you can do is say nout. 
dad didn't know what to do. But by the time he got home, he had made up his mind. He must go to the police. Then the front door flew open and Kath came running out. Dad, she cried, Mam's had a fall. She's tripped over plod and I think she's broken her leg. <laughs>